Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to be covering the Sawyer Bite Instinct Extraction Kit and this is supposed to be the only suction device proven to remove snake venom but I'm actually not using it for snake venom today, thank God. I have a couple of mosquito bites here that itch like crazy and I'm going to show you guys if this device right here is good or if this is something I recommend so let me cover with you guys. A little bit more about this and what it comes with and what you should expect so I purchased this device about three years ago when I first moved out here just because some of the neighbors told me there's snakes uh, in this area of the county so being a good parent I went ahead and got this and I've never had to use it thank God but this is it right here this is the extractor and when you open up the kit here it's got a couple of things. It's got a booklet here that shows you how to use it and some of the different kind of insect bites and things you can expect. It comes with the sting relief right here. The alcohol pads on here and these are basically prep the area. It comes with these sting kill capsules and you break the tip right here and the little cotton right here gets wet and you apply it to the actual bug bite these do work a little bit but they're only temporary relief i really think uh you know maybe some oatmeal lotion or something might even bring you more relief than something like this and i don't know if this is really what this is if it's toxic not toxic so a little worrisome but there's gonna be i think four or five of those i've used it once or twice comes with the razor blade just generic disposal one three band-aids and it has these four one two three four adapters i've got the first one on here and this is the one i normally use because unless you have a snake bite this is going to be a really weird shape to use and these are oftentimes are too big for the area or the bug bite so not really useful but this particular one i'm going to go ahead and try it on my bug bite here see what we can do with that and to see if it does bring me any kind of relief and let's go ahead and try this out so back to my leg here and with the plunger out you're going to go ahead and push down and it just locks in place and you want to let that sit for 10 to 15 seconds and let it do what it's supposed to do it's to extract the venom or relieve the bug bite by maybe pulling up some of the toxins from your skin and you want to wait for the appropriate time that's indicated in the manual right there so now I'm going to go ahead and relieve pressure that's relieved so now it comes down to the question of would I recommend this or is it something that I discourage other people from buying and the honest answer to this is Every situation is different, but for my own situations I've used it for, it has not brought me any relief. In fact, my leg itches like crazy right now, and I don't want to keep irritating it more and more trying to suck this out. So unless you're in an area with scorpions or lots of rattlesnakes, I would say this is something you probably want to watch out for. You may be better off by with just putting ice on top of it, nothing hot and or or using some kind of oatmeal lotion something that's going to just take the itching away but i really hope the video helped you guys out if this is the first time you guys are visiting the channel please consider subscribing and i'll also have a link in the description box below to the therapic bug relief device here and supposed to get rid of the itching whenever you get bit by a mosquito uh, for example and um, it's going to be an honest review that's going to be in the description box below Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know some of your guys' favorite home remedies for bug bites because when they happen, they can really ruin your night and can even cause you to lose sleep if it doesn't get any better. So thanks again, guys. Leave your comments and your questions below. Have a great day. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button, and I really appreciate your continued support.